morning, everyone. Candace here with uh, Tom Monholland, and I'm so excited that you're here, finally. So, uh, Tom's going to tell us about ELB Consulting. Yes. Absolutely. And uh, that's it. The, the, the floor is yours. I want to know who you are, what you do, and we'll start there. We well, you all need to know most of that. But they don't, yes. because what you do is very interesting, because if I own my building... Yes, it's very much of a niche market. Um, ELB Consulting, we're an engineering firm. Mm -hmm. We actually work in the accounting world. There are tax deductions and credits that we identify for commercial property owners that their CPA can't find because they're not engineers. And so we come in and do an inspection of the building and line item detail every single thing to increase their depreciation expense. Really? So tell me some of the things that you can have as depreciation. A roof, an AC unit? Window treatments, laminate floors. Oh. Uh, Specialty lighting, all the wiring and conduit and circuit breaker and control panel, etc. Really? For the specialty lighting. That's why an, a CPA can't do it. He has no idea what gauge copper wire, what con size conduit that drives that light. We do. We're engineers. Oh. Now, see, this is this is stuff I, I knew, but I don't know. Yes. Like, I knew a little bit about what you do. So, all my. Wheel, all the wheel stops outside? Yeah. If you own the parking lot and everything, yes. Really? Irrigation, awning, signage outside. All those going to be on a much shorter depreciation schedule than the standard 39 years. Really? So you have greater depreciation expense, less net profits, less, less taxes. Taxes. Sam. Yes. And the money, because depreciation expense, like other things, is just a cash flow. It's just a line item, paper item. The money you don't send to the IRS stays with the commercial property owner. Okay. Expand the business, upgrade their fleet, run their 401k, their retirement plan, succession planning, buy their next location. I was just going to say, so if it's somebody that, that is looking to buy a location, would you go in pre-purchase or post-purchase? Post, post-purchase. Post okay. Um, we get involved post-construction of somebody's building and facility. Uh -huh. They sign a contract with us. Everybody wants to have a green-friendly building. Right. We have things that we can suggest like a tax-friendly building. Attach the sign outside a little bit differently. Use more decorative lighting rather than just recessed cans, etc. Oh. Use laminate floor instead of a tile floor. Oh. Tile floor is 39, laminate floors are five. Wow. So you take it from 39-year depreciative life into a five-year depreciative life. Wow. So it's big dollars. It really is. Yeah, it's not... It's, it's not, not like a few thousand, no. no. It's millions of dollars, in, depending on the size of the property. So who would be a great client for you, other than anybody that owns a building? Um, apartment complexes, hotels, restaurants, medical facilities, manufacturing facilities are the best clients, car washes, self-storage facilities. We find like 80%, up to 80% of the building that we can put on a shorter depreciative life. Because think about it in a self-storage facility, especially climate controlled, all the doors, the duct work, the mm -hmm. signs, the sprinkler, mm -hmm. all that kind of good stuff. And we have five instead of 39. That is very interesting. A big warehouse, it has four walls and some sodium mm -hmm. lights Not and so some much. beams. Not much, but the more, so the more complex a building is, the more opportunity we have to find things. Um, so apartment complexes, like Coquina Cove. My client. There you go. Is that okay if I said that? <laughs> yes. We this is called chamber to chamber where we're we're helping each other out. Exactly. Because that's what we're that's what we do. Yes. Yeah, that's I know what Dean we do. does work for Jeff. Oh, oh god, yeah. Oh, Jeff's yeah. a very good friend of mine. He's at Jeff's house now. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. Hey Jeff. <laughs> Tell the Jeff show. So a medical, like a strip mall, a medical office building. Other local building. Uh, properties I've done, um, Jeremiah Barron's, the Barron's yeah, house. Yep, yep, yep. I did that whole thing. I've done some of his other properties, Coquina Cove, working on a contract with a local restaurant, I'm not going to say who, that has mm -hmm. two facilities and has bought a third one. We're going to be opening up a... What about banks? I, you know, I've never done a bank, but it doesn't make sense why we wouldn't. I've talked to lenders about their clients, and I'm like, oh, by the way, why have you... Right. Bank, I don't know. They, 
they just don't seem to get it for some reason. You think back to the right? I, because I mean, there's so many of them. Yes. And there's so many floors, especially Seacoast. I mean, there's multiple floors and there's different facilities oh, and some of their branches are leased. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's for, and I can do tenant improvements if it's above a certain dollar figure because it's it, actually the way the IRS tax code reads. It's it's designating things as personal property. Like if you moved out of here, everything that you took with you could probably be on a five-year depreciation, depreciation schedule instead of a 39. Window treatments, floor coverings, shelving. So what stuff. about like Cleveland Clinic would be a major? Uh, yeah, that would be a huge one for any of their for-profit operations because I can't work with like Martin Health when it was Martin Health. Uh, United Way, churches, schools, municipalities. So 501c3? It, no, because they don't pay taxes, right. so they don't need anyway. deductions. Mm -hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. So. Okay. But, like, Starstruck? Uh, not for profit. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So, uh, and how long have you been in Martin County? I moved here in July of 15. Okay. From Memphis, Tennessee. And what brought you here? Uh, uh the, 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 the Opportunity. Let's just put good. it that way. Good, good. Well, we're glad you're here. I mean, so how is it, how how do you find living in Martin County? I love it because I grew up mostly in a small town in Alabama, and so this reminds me of that. Everybody knows everybody, which is kind of good and bad in a way, but still, it's it's very community is very tight, close knit, pulls together, like the tragedies we've had mm -hmm. past week. Yeah. So for sure, absolutely. And you're very active in all of the chambers, basically. Mostly the Stuart Martin one, but I dabble in Hope Sound. Yeah, Sarah. you're in Hope Sound, you're in Palm City. Palm City. Yeah, and you are a great, you're the ambassador co-chair for the yes, Stuart Martin I am. Chamber. thank you. Absolutely, and ambassador of the year last year. Uh, and yeah. HP and I split everything now. Yeah, that yeah. We yeah. got the President's Award for revamping the... The whole program, basically, right? Yeah. The ambassador. Yeah, because it, need, it needed a little tweaking. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. You've done a great job with that, well, an absolutely great job. And so one of the charities that I know is very near and dear to you amongst all, all the other stuff you do is Molly's House. Yes. I got hey, involved. Bill. Hi, Bill. <laughs> I got involved, I don't know, three, four years ago. Um, I got asked to pour at Polo, the big spring. Yeah, I, well, I'm there. <laughs> so uh, three years in a row I've been bartender out there. And they've invited me into the other planning committees and you know we did rum runners row and then and pirates, pirates and pearls. pearls and so we'll still do polo and i'll be if i'm not bartending i'll be involved in some way sometime you have to bartend well it's not up to me oh okay they may I was actually like, hey, hire I'm real i'm not behind the bar i know they may actually hire real bartenders like what am i no, you're yeah. fine no 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 tom not behind the bar i have to have tom behind the bar so it's yeah not no. <laughs> like, let me think. What goes in a rum and coke? Hmm, yeah. right. <laughs> you think? Yeah. And so what other charities are you involved in? Um, I help out a little bit at the United Way when I can. I was involved in their citizen review panel deal, whatever it's called. Hi, Carol. Another great 28. Um, I, I'm, I think we should help those that need help, whether it be children, whether it be veterans or seniors, animals, special needs people. We should help those people that need help. And Martin County is infamous for helping. Yes, it's amazing. There are, I don't know, hundreds, if not thousands of charities or charitable, charitable organizations around mm -hmm. that are affecting the community one way or another. Mm -hmm. And there is a lot of, you know, some people say, well, there's a lot of duplication, but there's a lot of collaboration that yes, goes behind like the to, scenes. I'd like to see more of that. Um, there's only there's a piece of a pie here. Mm -hmm. And so try not to split it and pull money away from each other where if you collaborate you get economies of scale and, and et cetera, blah 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 blah. So it's it's more beneficial for the community if there is more collaboration rather than, well, I'm gonna do it this way and you guys are gonna do it that mm -hmm. way. And you really the end purpose is the it same. Is the same. Right. If the end purpose is the same, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. So where will we see you next? We're gonna see you um, tomorrow at where, where are you going Thursday night? Are you going to Atlantic? I have to work Thursday night. Oh yeah, that's right. You, you have, no, you have to work Saturday night too. Thursday, Friday, Saturday this week. I work part-time at Total Wine tomorrow. Yeah, well we know you're at Total Wine. Um, I didn't know you were working all three nights. I didn't need to tell I looked at the schedule. 
Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. No, yeah. Okay. All right. So I thought we would see you. No. Oh, uh, oh, uh, she's, we have, we have, um. Oh, that's what we're doing. We're doing Operation Thank You. We're delivering the welcome guides and the goodie bags and all the trinkets and treasures that are inside of there. That was Aileen. Aileen was like. Yeah, that's my. We started next, that today. The yep. next three or four days we'll be doing that. Yeah, we started that today. How much you guys pick? How much you guys take? We did over 100 last year. Yes. We just I grabbed 36 bags. I thought I my know. 40 was great. Okay, you guys just blew me right out of the water. We crank. Yeah. Wow. So we and then we, then we support our local restaurants, too, while we're doing it. Yeah, this. right? <laughs> Where are you eating today? Uh, I don't know. We're downtown, so we'll probably grab something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I didn't take anybody from downtown this year because I'm here. So I took everybody um, in Palm City uh, is what I took. I took three, four, you know, I took 40 for Palm City, mm -hmm. the whole, that whole area. So okay. I'll make my rounds. So thank you. And, and well, let's talk about one more thing. So how did we meet? I walked in here back when it was a little tiny place and it was dark and bamboo-y and, and things. Actually, it's the same size. Yeah, I know. It looks so much bigger now. Um, with a friend that might have needed an esthetician job, and, and that's how we kind of met, and then through the chamber and everything else. Leadership. And leadership, the great 28. Leadership. leadership. We, we knew each other before then. Yeah, but briefly. Not like leadership. Right. Leadership brought us all together, for sure. Yes. Absolutely, for sure. And so... Got closer with the people I already knew and then developed relationships with the people I didn't know. Isn't it wonderful? It is great. And we still go to functions and we still get together. We had coffee one day last yeah, week or two weeks ago. Whatever. I was asking, I don't know if I don't know if any of the other classes do as much, get together as much as oh, we do. Can. I mean, we all, you know... We're the grade 28. Oh. <laughs> what was I thinking? I, I'm sorry. What was I thinking? <laughs> God, I know. Um, but, yeah, I think we are one of the only classes. And, I mean, we don't just, it's not just, like, three or four of us. It's a boatload of us. Yeah, like, well, look out. Yeah, like, look out. Last, take, the last one was great. We take over a place. In yeah. The morning, we, well, that's why we can't go to, we can't go to Gilbert's. We love you, Gilbert's. We absolutely love you, but we just can't. We, we, we just pile in there, and they're like, we overwhelm them. We overwhelm them. Yes, we definitely overwhelm them. So our next Great 28 Escape is going to be either at Jill Balls or Jean Dunn's. We haven't... Jean said she wants it. Jill said she wants it. But Jill's got her whole... All her flowers are ready. Her whole landscaping is done from the wedding. So we'll get... We'll do wine. And we'll, 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 we'll definitely be after you for wine. Since you are the, the wine man. I need right. wine, actually. I'm, I'm out. Well, you can eat... A Come visit me there, or give me a list, and I'll go shopping. I need it. wine, and D, actually, Dee needs kegs. Our kegs are empty, so um, we'll probably we might do that Thursday night. Actually, we might stop up to see you Thursday night. How late are you there? Uh, Thursday till ten. Oh yeah, we'll probably Friday and Saturday till eleven. No, 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 it won't be Friday or Saturday. Saturday he's gigging at Sailors. Yes. So, which was brought up at the chamber breakfast this morning by Greg, the photographer guy. Well, okay, so... He talked about how amazing Dean was. And, uh, and somebody <laughs> said, aren't they playing somewhere? And, and I said, yeah, it's McCartney Mania. He did say it was return Saturday night. Yeah, yeah. So Operation 300, that was a great event on Sunday that they had at Sailors. And um, so Dean, everybody knows him as the drummer. So he played drums with Scotty and he played drums with Jason Montero. But he put his own band together. And no one, no, none of the other musicians knew anything about, other than probably Bob Bones and Sal. Um, nobody knew that he could play all, he, that, nobody knows he plays all instruments and nobody really knew he sang as much as he sings. So everybody's jaw was on the ground. It was, it was quite, it was quite interesting. But yeah, McCartney Mania is at um, Sailor's Saturday night for Sailor's 10, 10 year anniversary celebration. So yes. we wish you were going to be there, but you know, hey, call in sick. Uh, you didn't hear that. No, not gonna happen. I know. I know. It's too hard on the people that have to be there if someone doesn't show up. Yeah, and so um, one last thing: your mom, you take your your mom is amazing, Thank and you. we know that you take care of your mom. And there's not many men out there that have that in them. And I just want to say from me to you how much I, I absolutely adore that about you. I have health now. I know you do. 
I have these wonderful ladies that come in and there's two of them. One works three days, one works four days. And they come in and they take care of everything. They take her shopping. They do what? Take her get her doctor appointments, yeah. get her nails done, her hair. So. Yeah, because it's, it's, it's not easy. Being no. a caregiver is not easy. Yeah, so. Being a caregiver is not easy. But it's you do. Better for both of us. It, you do amazing. Well, yeah, you. absolutely. Yeah. But I just wanted to make sure that you knew that, that how much I feel. Not that, you know, but I just wanted you to know how much. Perfect. It means a lot coming to you. That means the world to me. As you know, you know how I was with my mother. So. Yeah. So, Tom Monhall at ELB Consulting, and how can they get in touch with you? Uh, T. Monhall at ELBCostSetting.com, or my phone number is 901-652-5750. Perfect. Okay. Or call her. She knows how to get in touch with me. <laughs> thank you so much for being I here. Know, thank you, dear. <laughs> <laughs>